Thank you, Glenn. Good morning, Orlando. Uh, before I start, I want to introduce my colleague and friend, Steve. Steve's going to be helping me do the uh, live demo a little later on in the show. All right. Um, today, I'd like to talk to you about Maui. And as Glenn said, it's a cloud-based Wi-Fi network management service. Maui monitors, analyzes, self-heals, and can even predict uh, Wi-Fi network issues before they occur. Now, there are three distinct benefits of Maui to you as an MSO and service provider. One, it's going to drastically improve your customer's Wi-Fi experience. Why? Well, because, because Maui constantly monitors and optimizes the home Wi-Fi network. Two, it's going to improve your customer support because Maui is going to collect all the data, synthesize it, and provide the most relevant data to your customer service representatives. And lastly, and most importantly, Maui is going to lower your operating expenses to maintain that Wi-Fi network. Now, you might say, you know, why, why are we doing this cloud-based stuff, right? Seems almost kind of cliche these days. Everything's going to the cloud. But as we know, the number and type of services deployed over Wi-Fi is just exploding. I mean, Wi-Fi is not just a touch point for our internet access these days. Wi-Fi is how we get our streaming music. Wi-Fi is how wireless, uh, TV over wireless is deployed. I'm not just talking about pre-recorded YouTube or OTT content. I'm talking about live linear TV, high action sports stuff, for example. Wi-Fi is also the backbone of now and future Internet of Things and applications. And some of you in this room have launched or about contemplating to launch a mobile phone service using Wi-Fi. Now, if you collect all those services and future services, and you're going to deploy that over millions upon millions of gateways, whether it's in the home, small, medium businesses, or community or public space hotspots, well, what do you get? Well, you get an entire new wireless network, not unlike that from cellular or LTE. So you need a management tool and service to match. Right? So let me just tell you how, a little bit about the architecture of Maui. It's very simple. The first element is we have a little bit of code that we call the agent. It resides on the gateway or AP, and its job primarily is to collect all the relevant Wi-Fi RF performance information. Now, if you currently are using more traditional methods such as TR69 or SNMP, it's OK. You don't need the agent. What matters is that the right kind of Wi-Fi data gets collected. The second component is that you're collecting this data over space and time for each and every node in your network. That's a lot of data. So you need a place to store it. And Maui, Maui provides cloud storage, but it's, again, not absolutely necessary because a lot of data that some of you are collecting is already in your own cloud. So Maui can directly plug in to that data source. The most important part of Maui is the third element. This is the analytics engine. This is where the magic happens. This is where we look at the data, pour over it, and try to detect trends. And our algorithms, well, after it detects these trends, will either self-heal, suggest either hardware upgrades, or make predictions of what your network may have, what network issues may happen down the road. Now, before we get to the live demo, I'd like to show you a couple of screenshots of Maui so they get a little flavor of what you're going to see. The first one is, this is a Maui right now is deployed for a service provider in the United States. It's monitoring about 1.2 million nodes. And this is a heat map of its predicting Wi-Fi congestion in this network. And I'll go into a little more detail further on. Now, if you notice that there's various places on this map that's kind of heaty, one of them is the lower left around San Diego. So our algorithms go in and say, well, in San Diego, there are three zip codes in San Diego where you know, it has the lowest capacity. In particular, the algorithm can also predict that Wednesday and Thursday is probably these two days out of the week where the capacity is the lowest. Now, on top of this, we can even go down to the hour. For these three zip codes, the capacity of Wi-Fi is worse between four to seven. Now, that's very valuable information, because during that time, the kids may be coming home from school, turn on whatever they turn on, 
people come home from work, maybe you know, jump on the internet and do whatever they need to do before dinner. That is peak time. And if I can tell you a priori that that time, as a service writer, that that time, just get ready, there might be some issues, I think that's invaluable information. Now with that, we'll go to the, uh, okay, we'll do the live demo. So now when you open up Maui, it's a browser, you'll see it has three distinct icons. And these icons are number one, install. So Maui also provides automated install. So there's no network in the home. Greenfield, you come in the home, technician uses this, install it. The second thing is diagnosis. That means we go after the network is installed and every particular network, we can monitor it, self-heal it. And this also includes multi-dwelling units. We have rather large density of APs kind of cluster around, you know, kind of like an apartment complex. We're not gonna demo those two things today, but we choose rather to demo the last icon, which is big data, what I've been talking about. And if you notice on the upper right-hand corner, there's about 434,000 access points that Maui right now is monitoring, and about 808,000 stations connected to those access points. Probably can't see every, oh, there you go, great. Now let's go into network. And when you go into network, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up that map of this 1.2 million nodes, so you see that and this is all being rendered live over the cloud as we speak, right? So these are the 1.2 million nodes and how they're distributed. We're gonna zoom in on Orlando, Florida. See what's going on in Orlando, Florida. And these are all the access points that are in Orlando, Florida, right? That's, that's just kind of the view. What we can then do is go and look at congestion or interference. And this interference could be caused by various factors. This could be your neighbor blasting away. It could be radar that's also in the five gigahertz band that uh, you guys all know. So that's the heat map. You can change channel, right? This is various channels of five gig. You can also change the view over the entire day or a specific time frame within that day, like I showed earlier. Or, and you can also show the time range because we store data up to whatever, right? This actually happens to be a network we've been monitoring for about a year. Let's show the last seven days. The heat map should be less heaty because all this is cumulative, right? So there's the heat map. Now, with <clears throat> With Maui, what you can also do is you can get a dashboard. You can customize this dashboard to your liking. You can monitor whatever high-level network parameter or even down to the nitty-gritty RF parameters, whatever you want for your entire network. And we have two, and this is just an example screenshot. I'm not gonna go through each one of these, but what we will do is add one more report. And then we wanna add a, uh, you know, kind of a time-based report. We'll go click and we'll say uh, uh, last month, so February. And then channel changes, we'll say, show me over time in the last month, all the channel changes you know, that the APs have done, all the APs that have more than five channel changes, because maybe that's, you know, that's concerning to me. So he drags it to five, and you see right away, the cloud renders the data, we pull it down, and you see that time-based graph. Right. Anyways, that's, that's the live demo. Now I wanna leave you with one last message about Maui. Now, this is not 15 years ago when you go down to the local store and you go buy your router, you bring it back, or you put in your small, medium business. I mean, these days, I mean, Wi-Fi is becoming carrier grade, right? It is deploying mission critical services. So why not have a service or tool that manages that for you? And we hope you'll consider Maui to manage the internet and allow your customers to be surf ready. Anyways. Thank you for your time. If you're interested to learn more about Quantena or Maui, please visit us at the room next over. We hope to see you there. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.